Hey everybody, it's Yasmin here, racing against the clock as usual. Life is so hectic, even in lockdown, agreed? So we are now absolutely in the dark of the moon. And what I would like to do every month is do a dark moon ceremony and then do a new moon ceremony. But I kind of didn't get myself organized uh, this month. Uh, Good morning. Hello, Joe. Hello, Chrissy. Hello, Audrey. I had I, I went through a bit of lockdown fatigue earlier this week, but I'm actually out the other side of it and feeling about a million times better. Hello, Marushnisha. Hello, Lise, Chrissy, Donna, Chrissy again. So what I thought I would do today is, because I'm going to do a, a new moon ceremony, which I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't seem to be programmed into my Facebook, which is a bit bamboozling to me because I thought I spent ages earlier at the start of, at the end of last year, making out a whole plan that I thought I'd send to someone to post, uh, but apparently not. So um, I'm going to have to do it again or do it for the first time or whatever it is. And uh, but I will do a, a new moon ceremony at some point in the next 24 hours. So just keep an eye on my events page. And if you miss it, it will be on Facebook Live anyway. And uh, and I can just um, I can just uh, you'll just see the replay. So a couple of things. So I want to do the dark moon. We'll, we'll do a bit of a, a chart for the dark moon today. Uh, I'll talk about the dark moon. I'm also going to announce the winner of this lovely mala. I keep straightening this with my, I've got a hair straightener because I've got actually quite wavy hair. So I straighten it sometimes. And uh, as you see, and I keep straightening this, but then after a couple of days, it must get wet. You know, if I, I don't know, put it in, get in the bath with it accidentally or something. And uh, it all goes fuzzy again. But if you, uh, if you get one, just use a hair straightener on it. So I'll be announcing the winner of this mala, which I gave away with the, um, was a winner for someone who bought the diary. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some chanting and I will do a card. Oh, thank you, Susan. <laughs> it's on my Facebook page at 12 on Thursday. Excellent. I'm glad somebody knows, cause I have no clue. I just sort of turn up. I, my big thing at the moment, for those of you who don't know, we're doing daily chanting. There are some people on here who are saying they chanted this morning. It was lovely. We had actually over 100 people today. And uh, and uh, so I just wake up. I, I still am not sleeping. My husband and son refuse to go to bed like at a reasonable hour. I'm sorry that I'm telling on them. <laughs> but it keeps me awake as well. And I'll just tell you, it's a sort of silly story, but... Back in the day, I had this girlfriend, uh, I won't name her, um, but she and I were talking about possibly being flatmates and um, she said, but what time do you work? And this was back in the day when I was single. And I said, oh, you know, sometimes I work late and I can, she said, do you work like at 11, 12, mid, you know, midnight after 1 a.m., whatever? And I said, yeah, sometimes. Because I, you know, I'm a writer and writers work at odd times. And she said, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't live with that. And I'm like, why not? What's the big deal? I'm not, I'm not making a noise. I'm like sitting quietly tapping away. And she said, your psychic energy will keep me awake. <laughs> I was like, okay, you mad? What are you talking about, woman? And she said, no, I can't. Your psychic energy will keep me awake. And I was like, okay, fine. And, um, and now I know what she means. She literally she meant what I'm experiencing with my husband and son when they won't go to bed. It's literally just the fact of the house is kind of still awake. It's really, really hard to go to bed. So I keep telling them this. And as a joke last week or the week before, <laughs> they called me down to the living room um, at about 11 p.m. saying, we just hope you're going to sleep okay. Come down to the living room. And I went down to the living room and they'd both got some aluminium foil. <laughs> And you guessed it, made tin foil hats um, so that their psychic energy wouldn't keep me awake. So there you go. Um, I don't know how I got onto that. Oh, yes, I got onto that because I can't. So I don't sleep. Then I wake up late. I wake up about 9.30 usually, 9.30 a.m. Because we are uh, in lockdown here in England. And I just get dressed and get ready, wash and all that. 
and I just go chanting at 10 30 a.m and then the rest of the day I just kind of it's just it's just it's kind of chaos what you know how lockdown can be I don't know anyone else who's in the UK in lockdown now it's it's kind of getting a bit tiring isn't it <laughs> like our house is such a mess now because you know you tidy up a bit when people come over anyway I'm digressing so uh chanting 10 30 a.m it was amazing and uh, i loved it thank you to everybody who was there more than 100 people if you want to join us it's free it's every day every weekday at 10 30 a.m okay so let me tell you about this thing this mala so it's a beautiful sacred mala from um india it's actually from the ashram that I go to in India. And as I said, you can actually straighten that with a hair straightener. Um, and I usually they don't send, send them out willy-nilly for people to give away or sell or whatever. But the chanting that I'm doing is actually what you call seva, S-E-V-A, which is the Hindu word for basically doing a good service, being of service. And uh, I started doing the chanting, I mean, it must have been nearly a year ago now, although I've had some time breaks, um, because the teacher at the ashram that I go to in India, Sri Shakti Narayani Amar, asked us to do it. And initially we were just doing it sort of within the group of people who go to um, the ashram, which is the Narayani temple in southern India. And it's to the goddess Kali, as many of you will know. Uh, and, you know, this is what we chant. I'll show you what we chant. Um, I think I've got it backwards here, yeah, so that'll work. We chant this chant every day. Om Krim Maha Kali Sarva Rogam Nasi Nasi which basically is an invocation to Kali to help us stay safe from the virus. And I will say, I think I had coronavirus and I think it was when I'd actually stopped chanting. So, I mean, I don't know, make of that what you will. But I stopped for about two or three months when we went on holidays and then we got back and I just didn't get back into it. Anyway, um, so these come from, you can buy these at the temple in India and uh, and I was given special permission in thanks for my seva, which is, you know, doing the chanting. Um, I was given special permission to sell these. They have the blessing of my teacher in India, Sri Shakti Narayani Amar. And uh, they've also been sprinkled with what's called tirtam, which is basically holy water that you get when you go to temple uh, in India, or at least the ashram that I go to, um, you go up at the end of the ceremony and you get some water, like they give you some water in your hand and you sip it and then you put it on your head and it's basically holy water. So these, have, and I've got a limited number to sell, but I've got one to give away to one lucky person who won the diary. We haven't even emailed this person yet, which is really bad. We should have emailed, so it might be you. Let me tell you their name. I don't know if they're watching. So this, the as I said, we do have some to sell and I put the link above. Um, and, you know, some of the money will eventually get its way to India because I'm constantly giving money there to help pay for ceremonies and stuff like that uh, because there's a lot of, you know, they use a lot of stuff. They use like thousands of dollars worth of ghee every year just for all the fire, fire ceremonies and so on. Um, and also I do projects like helping people get operations because a lot of people in India, they actually can't afford the operations, but they have a, a hospital where you can fund, you know, different projects. So I give, I mainly focus on the Arroy Guides, which is um, for helping people who can't afford medical care. It basically pays the doctors and the hospital staff to do the operation so that people can get them for free. Um, people are saying, where can you buy these? You can only buy them, well, you can buy only these, which have come from my ashram, which have the blessings of my teacher and the sacred tirtam at the link above, below, or to the side, depending on where you're watching. But I have one to give away. Are you ready? Here we are. So the winner of the Blessed Mala is Jody. Olankito, Jodie Olankito. So Jodie, I don't know if you happen to be watching, 
um, but we are going to be sending this to you. And I have actually been wearing it while chanting um, for quite a few weeks now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've actually got some sage from the garden. I've got a, oh, that's a little bit, but I've got a big bit. And I'll, um, I'll sage it so that you still get all the vibes from the chanting and, uh, and, um, you still get all the vibes from the chanting, but you'll get, you won't get any negative energies that I might've put into it. Like for a couple of days ago when I was having a bit of lockdown fatigue and all that. And uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, the, the, I'll put the box in this room here as well so that we, we do all the new moon work with it today. So if you want to buy one, limited, limited number, uh, click the link above or below. Um, someone's saying they're in American dollars. Yes, but you'll be charged in your local currency. I think they're about $27 American, which is going to be probably about 35 Australian and... Um, I don't know, like 20 pounds English. I'm not sure. They're not expensive and they are very special. So I'm really happy to share those with you. I will be selling all but one because I'm keeping one because I actually had one of these which I got from India. And at some point, I think it's in storage and I just want another one. So hopefully they won't all sell out before I can change the inventory. So there you go. That's for Jody. All right, Jody, it's yours, but I'm just going to put it back on we're going to do a bit of chanting now for the dark moon so let's talk about the dark moon the dark moon is where we are now it's just before the um it's just before the new moon which we're about to get and uh it's a very sacred time and it, funnily enough the dark moon is not astrological per se it's uh it's actually kind of i guess you'd say more witchy um it's something that's been celebrated by i think witches and i mean i can't really speak about that because i don't really know much about that all i know is that i actually um started working in the with the dark moon i'm not even sure a couple of years ago and i really fell in love with it um because it's a really good time to release and, you know, before the new moon is when you want to release. Why? Because at the new moon, we're going to draw things in. So we need to release stuff out now. Okay. Um, Chrissy Linford saying, do you post these malas to Oz? We'll post them anywhere in the world. They'll go anywhere in the world. But grab it now because there aren't that many of them. Um, leave me one. <laughs> um Okay, so what I thought, so the thing I'd like, I'd like to say about the new moon, no, no, the dark moon, if anybody knows um, Demetra George, can you please email her and ask her to come on and talk to us about the dark moon? Because I read her book over the summer, The Mysteries of the Dark Moon, and um, it just blew my mind and it still blows my mind every time I think about it. And um, I do have one friend who knows who did write to her and say, would you please come and talk to Yasmin? And apparently she didn't even reply to her and they're like really good friends. So I don't know if Demetra's changed her email address or is not feeling well, but whatever it is, I would love to speak to Demetra George. Okay, so yes, Joe, her book is amazing. The Mysteries of the Dark Moon. Okay, so the Dark Moon, as Demetra George puts it so well in her um, book, is all about the very end of the lunar cycle. If we consider that the, that the lunar cycle starts with the new moon, peaks with the full moon, and then wanes, and we get to where we are right now. And now is the time to let go. Now, I've been telling you about how I've had a few work things happening uh, in the past week, and it's nothing big, and I keep saying it's nothing to do with Hay House, just because everybody knows I work with Hay House. It's not Hay House. Um, it, and it's just been, a, it's a little, it's just been tense and it's all been sorted out, thankfully. And every day on the chanting, when we've done the Orm Nemonarayani, I've handed this situation over to the divine and, uh, and it's all fine and it's all good. So for example, that's one thing that I would want to release now because, um, you know, it's been, it's gone, it's done. And there's no point in carrying that forward with me. And in a way, what we're doing as we chant, because we're going to chant in a minute. I wonder if I've got the chant written out, actually. Um, 
it's a very simple chant. I'm going to do the Kali chant, a, a, a different Kali chant. Um, but in a way, what we're doing now is we're going to release, and it, we're going to release what has been happening. Um, anything that negative, anything we want to let go of, any upsets, any dramas, anything like that, we release it because we want to make space for what we're going to bring in with the um, with the new moon. Okay, does that make sense? Anyone got any questions? <coughs> Let's have a sip of my coffee. Um, so that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to do a chant and it's very, very simple. It's only three words. They're not really words. You know, they're not words. They're um, vibrations. They're Sanskrit sounds. And uh, it's going to be to the goddess Kali, who we're doing, who we're chanting with every day, um, 11.30 a.m. UK time. I think that's about, somebody was saying what time is that Australian time. I'm not sure. Look on timeanddate.com. It's 10.30 a.m. London time. Uh, and you can, if you go to timeanddate.com, you can translate that to anywhere in the world. I think it's 9.30 p.m., but I'm not sure because the times keep changing, you know, how the time zones change. Um, and we do a chant to Kali there every day. But um, that's a different chant. That's a chant that's been especially handed over by my teacher in India um, for um, the epidemic, for the pandemic. Um, this one that we're going to do is actually for um, just for Kali to help us sort of the, the I, I'm never sure. I think this came from Demetra George's book. Um, I'm never 100 percent sure. But it's the um, it's it's the idea of you know a vine. Imagine the vine leaves, the grapes on the vine, and you know it's so beautiful. And if you've ever seen that in summer, you know they're all big and lush, and all spring, you know, and um, and then just imagine, you know, the grapes have been harvested, and the vine leaves are still there, and it's autumn, and they've gone brown, and they're dry, and, you know, you could just sort of crush them in your hands. And that's how I feel about the dark moon. This is the time to hand it all over to Carly, who is the great destroyer. She, um hand it over and just crush it all. So I'm going to sort of, for example, my upsets that I had about work this week, I'm just going to crush it all and let it, you know, when you crush those dry leaves and they just turn to dust and they just fall to the ground. So um, we're going to do a three line chant to Carly. And I say it like that because I've been taught at the ashram that I go to in India where these malas are from. Um, I've been taught that it's very important to uh, pronounce things, you know, as well as you can using the Sanskrit pronunciation. So, um, you know, in English, we would say Kali, the goddess Kali, wouldn't we? If you've got an Australian accent, goddess Kali. Um, but in Sanskrit, it's the goddess Kali. So we try and pronounce it the proper way. And the chant is Om Karli Yay Namaha. And I said it was three sounds. That is actually only three because it's Om Karli Yay Namaha. Karli Yay, Y E I is how you spell it in English. Yay uh, is like. You know, it's a sign of respect. You know how, I don't know if you know in Japanese, you don't call someone Yoshi, you call them Yoshi-san or Yasmin is Yasmin-san. It's a polite address. And Karli Ye is like the most honourable way to address Karli. That's why we chant Karli Ye or Saraswat Ye or Lakshmi Ye. Uh, so Karli Ye is like the polite address. So we're going to chant it three times. I'm going to chant it just once now so you hear the tune. <laughs> okay, so it's Om Karli Ye Namaha. Om 
Kali Ye Namaha. So it's basically honoring Kali, and we're going to do it with our eyes closed. And as you do it, I'm going to ask you to, to close your eyes and just imagine whatever is just falling away. Whatever is just falling away. Okay? So I'm going to do it three times. So close your eyes. And just bring to mind the goddess Kali, blue goddess. And just thank her for destroying any last remnants of anything negative that's in your heart. Any fears, any doubts, any upsets, any illness, any disease, any viruses, any dramas. And we ask Kali to clear us out ahead of the new moon. Here we go, three times. Om Kali -e Namaha desire to keep in your life falling away and now we're going to do three Om Namo Narayanis which means I surrender to the Divine Mother because now is very much a time of surrender Om Namo And now, because we have let it go, I'm going to ask you to bring to mind someone or something you are truly grateful for. Put your hands on your heart and just think of that person or that situation. Or more than one is fine. And just say thank you universe thank you thank you divine thank you thank you divine mother thank you there we go a card. Thank you for sharing this with me. A card for the dark moon. Step out of your comfort zone. It's actually a really nice card. It's the North Node card. You can't make this stuff up. 
There is a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind you because you are headed in the right direction. I mean, you literally can't make this stuff up. I'm going to leave it there. So there we go, guys. We have um, the Dark Moon. We have the winner of the Sacred Mala, Jody Olin Keto. And there is a link above or below or to the side about how to buy a mala if you want to grab one. I'm literally about to race onto the shop now because I forgot to uh, save one for myself. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow for the new moon event. Um, I may change the time um, depending on what I've put there. I need to go and look into it and see what it is. But just keep an eye on events. All right. So mwah, mwah, mwah. lots of love. Thank you for sharing this with me and I'll see you tomorrow.